Uh, we started in Gulfport, Mississippi. We mobilized the vessel from there and traveled south to uh, offshore Anchorage Dos Bocas, cleared into Mexico for the uh, offshore Anchorage, and then came out to the job site. Well, we uh, had a coordination meeting between all the vessels that were going to be used on this job uh, so that we they understood what was going to happen and how we had to maneuver the vessel to hold it in position until we got our anchor wire connected to it. Jacket was built in our Altamira fabrication yard. We moved it from our yard, skid it on to the Intermax 600 in preparations of bringing it into this field for uh, launching for our customer. All night mostly preparations, cutting it loose and, and ballasting the vessel, tearing down a lot of scaffold on board. Had uh, most of our crew on that side working on the jacket barge all night. It's an incredible amount of teamwork and communications. It takes a lot of preparation and having a great team is what causes these things to, to go right and efficiently. I mean, everything we do, uh, I mean, that's just that's the top on the list. Uh, uh, safety come first. Safety is the most important thing and it's, it's a culture, it's a belief and everybody looking out for each other. Once we got it ballasted down to 3.75 degrees and uh, final launch plates were cut at 4 o'clock in the morning she launched off the barge and Everything went real well. It was a very successful launch. Everything looked good. Our engineering group did a great job in designing and Fabrication Yard did an outstanding job building it. And now we halfway through the installation and we got to finish strong. This is a, a great vessel that McDermott has with a very good team on board. There's a lot of experience that's installed a lot of jackets before. And so this is a 7,000 ton structure being put into 400 feet of water, so it's no small accomplishment and it takes a lot of experienced people and dedicated people to make that happen.